Aztec, our office hours are from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Our technical support hours are from 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you already know your party's extension, please dial it now. For customer service or technical support, please press 1. For sales, you have made an invalid entry. Please hold while I try that extension. Aztec, thank for holding. How can I help you? Hi, um, I have a camera that I bought from you guys, and I sent it back for warranty work. And when I got it back, it worked. But um, a week later, now it stopped working and doing the same thing again. What's the same thing that it's doing again? Um, the the batteries whenever you put new batteries into it because it takes two AA batteries it'll uh, go from full to uh, low charge all the way down to dead in like 30 seconds or sometimes it'll just tell you that new batteries are dead right off the start what kind of batteries are you using? Um, I've used every type of AA from lithium all the way down to the cheapest battery there is I know we've had um some confusion with the lithiums. Apparently, the lithiums don't work so good. Uh, lithiums they tend to push uh, too much power for the camera to operate. Okay. So I don't know if those are more of the style that you're using or not. Um, no, I, I've tried all of them because I had the situation before with the camera, and then I sent it back to you guys. What's your service number? Um, you know I don't have the service number with me. What's your last name? It's. And then also, when they sent the new camera back, they said that they were sending a brand new camera to me. Mm. Um, but when I plugged it up to my computer, there was a whole bunch of photos and pictures from somebody else. So I don't know if that means they refurbished the camera and sent it to me. Uh, maybe they oh. got their boxes mixed up in the back because uh, they take in the returns in the same warehouse as they do send out the new one. So it might have been a mistake. Um, what we'll have to do is have you send it back in, and then we'll just have to replace it then. See, the problem with that being is I've already spent $20 to send it to you guys the first time. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to spend another $20 to send it to you. The camera was only $70 to begin with. So I'm getting to the point where it would just be cheaper to buy another camera. Um, you know what? I guess, let's see, I could put a request in for a label. Um, generally, that's through UPS, and uh, if they approve it, they'll go ahead and send a label out to you. Well, that would work. Uh, it will take its time to travel, so don't expect it to show up like tomorrow or anything. Oh, I understand. You can only send those out through the mail, um, and from that, you know, it could take you know, up to maybe five days to get there, I would assume. Uh, mail transfer, of course, snail mail, as they call it. Yeah. But um, I can put the request in, and then once it's received by you, you just place it on the packaging. Okay. And then um, uh, take it down to your local UPS center. Okay. Drop it off there with them. That will work. Punch in your information real Now, now, is there a question on whether they'll approve it or what? No, they, we have to state that for whatever reason. Sometimes, rarely does it happen. Uh, they will question it, um, lot, because normally we don't just hand out labels to everybody. Um, in this type of situation, because it's kind of a repeat situation, yes. they'll approve it. But any other time, if it's a questionable situation, they might question the idea. But you've already been serviced once, so they generally look at that and say, okay, all right. That'll work. All right. You thank have a good day. Yeah, thank you for your time. You're welcome. Bye-bye. So I guess we'll see, guys, see if they can get this camera fixed or not. I mean, uh, this is going on the second time, so we'll see.